How's it going, everyone? My name is Cornship, and welcome back to The Last Promise. I just made it to Chapter 8. Chapter 7x was fine. Uh, I've been buffing up Inanna. <laughs> she got another defense level, and it was only defense, if I remember correctly. Like, one of her- I think her level up to level 9 was only defense, which, you know, is still just nuts. And I've given her an angelic robe and an energy ring. So her strength is also boosted by energy ring, and it's at 8. It's not great, but... Anyway, so this is the team I'm bringing. I chose to leave out Sean and Corbin and still Kevin, because they're all high level, and I'd rather let some of these other people get some levels. And then Sacred I have to bring, unfortunately, otherwise I'd probably leave him out. I'm still struggling with inventory space. <laughs> like, Arthur's carrying a slim lance, and it's just because I don't really want it on anybody else uh, at the moment. So, yeah, it's still a problem, and then... Just because uh, Corbin's sitting out at this point, Inanna has the Emblem Lance, I don't think that'll be like a permanent change. Because I do like it on Corbin, I just feel like it kind of fits now. He can be the Emblem Lance wielder. But, anyway. And the reason Inanna doesn't have the Slim Lance is because she's going to go fight people that will drop items, so she needed inventory space. Anyway, I'm just going to get started. Maybe. So it seems that more soldiers are coming. Father, how can you know this already? The guardsmen have just retreated deeper inside. They couldn't have sent for reinforcements so quickly. Could they? Hmm. What? It's nothing. Let's continue our attack before they get a chance to retaliate. And I have to get to the prisoners before Magnus decides to kill them. Yep, so sure enough, this is a decently sized map. Um, and then there's some chests up here, like Althair's kind of warned us about. Here's the boss, Mina. An enigmatic female shaman, who became a soldier of Magnus. Has a flux and an elixir, and that's it. And, uh, you know, I would rather have the boss be killed by somebody else, but if if it comes down to it, Siegfried and his Nothung should be able to take care of her pretty quickly. But then there are some prisoners around here. I don't think these are anyone important. Yeah, these are just generics. But over here, we have Eduardo. Brash, quick-impulsed knight of Regalia, a reckless chump. Level 3 Cavalier, stats are kind of like whatever, I guess. And then down here we have Ace. Not your average generic soldier, that's it. Level 1 with- I feel like that's pretty good stats for level 1. And then here we have Anakin, who is also- or is not a monk like you would think from the sprite. Uh, Anakin is a young speaker with great potential that he himself doesn't acknowledge. Uses words to motivate others. I don't know if that's a Star Wars reference or what. But anyway, he's a vagrant, which is actually a motivational speaker who supports with willpower. So I'm assuming he's like a dancer or bard. Which is pretty interesting. He can't use light magic though, so I guess I can have him fight. But, I mean, I've got Arthur, so... And he is a monk. Like, he's not dancing for anybody. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get started. Uh, the reason, like I said, I didn't give her a Slim Lance, or I had two spots open for her, is because I'm gonna send her this way. Because she can get Speed Wings, which is obviously very important, and then this guy just drops a weapon, which I don't care for as much, but it's whatever. And then there's a Thief way up here. I'd rather not have her fight him, because I don't need the chest keys, and she, uh, she'd have to discard something anyway, but... I'll worry about that later. He's got a long way to go, so I'm not super worried about it. And I don't like her odds right now, so I'm gonna just have her sit here and bait him out. I know I could use the javelin, I'm not going to. And now I have to figure out what the heck I'm doing over here. Because I send anyone forward and they can get attacked by a lot of people. But I think I'm gonna take that risk anyway and send Shuda over here with the Lance Reaver. And then it's gonna break, and then he'll have more inventory space, so I'm cool with that. And yeah, I guess that's like literally the one downside to not having Storm anymore, is he could have held more items for me. But he's gone. So that's literally like five convoy spots, essentially, <laughs> that I uh, don't have anymore. I'm not actually going to do this, but... Yeah, I think it's just weird wording, and the armor cutter, as you would expect, is good against armored units, not infantry. So, I guess I could put him here, but I don't want him to take too much damage. And this guy would come fight him, obviously. But let's at least see what this looks like. 
Oh, I'm at disadvantage, so still not great. You could kill, but you'll also most likely take 13 damage, and that's pretty yuck. Uh, and then I didn't give you a normal lance, which is... I mean, other than that, obviously. You know what? Sure, let's just let him do some ranged attacking. I say this a lot, but uh, as usual, I didn't really come in with a super solid plan, so I'm just kind of going to figure things out as I go. Well, there's I'll move over here, because he shouldn't be able to get hit. Tamiko! I kind of want to have help out Inanna, but I only have one healer. <laughs> also, Sia might have been a good choice for the Angelic Robe as well, but too late now. Let's just hope Shu doesn't take Shuda doesn't take too much damage and uh, leave her here, so she can heal Anana next turn if she chooses. All right, we're off to a not super great start, uh, especially when you miss an eighty-one. Not a great start for Anana there. Not a great start for Shuda either. If you double, that'll be pretty nice. Alright, cool. That leaves a kill for, I mean, honestly, probably Sia. She's the lowest level, I think, so... Oh, shoot! So they're immediately attacking the prisoners, huh? That's not cool. Alright, Anakin is sleeping. <laughs> hey, you awake? I guess not. Damn, this guy does nothing but sleep. But looks like he needs it. Uh, hmm? Ah, you're awake! Do you know what's happening over there? I'm not sure, but it sounds like a battle. I wonder who would attack this place. You never know. What do you mean, you never know? Man, you're a real drag sometimes, Anakin. Hey, pipe down! If you don't shut up, no stay for you. We'll execute you on the spot. That must be it. There must be a battle happening. Some way or another, we need to get out of here. Hold on, I can hear the soldiers from here. What's up? The person leading the charge is a brown-haired knight. That's all I could get. Well, out of the people who might come to liberate us. I met the mercenary Kellic once, and he has jet black hair. So maybe it's the rebellion led by the former knight? He's been fighting in Athea. Maybe the rumors are true. He could be bringing his rebels here to Valencia, after all. Ah, well perhaps that swordsman is among them? I doubt it. That one doesn't seem like the kind to conform to an army. Well, anyway, hopefully they'll come to free us. If the knight is in charge of this, then we're probably at his top priority. I said that kind of weird, sorry. <laughs> Good to hear. I suppose we should just stay put then. In the meantime, I'll get back to my nap. Anakin? Sleep. I guess I'll wake him up when we're free. Oh, oh. Wait. Wait, you're evil? Huh? Lady Mina. Thank you for all the help thus far. You've really taken a risk helping us out, but we appreciate it. We've gotten all the documents about the raisin runes that we need. The blacksmith I'm going to take it to is the greatest I know. If anyone can implement those runes to a sword, it'll be him. Yes, yes, just remember you're part of the deal. Of course. If there's anyone who could find Rana, 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 it's us. We'll give him your message. I'd like to continue speaking with you, however. I think somebody may be watching. I'm going to leave after this battle is done with. What about you? Are you really going to stay? Yes, I don't have a choice. I really want to see him one last time. But at least I trust that you'll give him my letter. Yeah, I've never failed a client. I won't start now. Sadly, as the leader of this force, I have no choice but to stay. Fate is cruel, isn't it? Cruel and unavoidable. If that's how you truly feel, then I respect your wishes. Goodbye, Kellick, and thank you. Farewell to you as well, Mina. Okay, I don't have to fight him. But now he's red! He's no longer a green boy. Alright, well, Inanna... You know what, I'll just have her slowly fall back to everyone else, because I don't need to go in there. So I'll just keep baiting them this way. And then, let's see, what do I want to do? He only has 12 HP? Did I do da Oh, I threw a javelin at him, right. <laughs> That really concerned me for a second. 
And then this guy's a javelin, so I'd rather you not attack. Alright, let's get my ranged people some experience, because why not? A level 4 Sia. And magic and speed is, uh, all I need. Not really. I mean, I'd, I wish you'd get resistance, too, so I could have you be, like, a mage fighter, at least, but... Oh well. Arthur's gonna pick up the door keys that I also don't really feel like I need. I brought all fairs, I don't need this crap. Speaking of, all fairs can open the door. I don't know if Shuda can kill this guy. Yeah, I might as well do this. Oh, will you get the flex? No, but at least you kill. Lots of weapon level increases all of a sudden. Ah, oh, you can't reach. Well, hmm. I'm still gonna move you forward. Sorry, Inanna. <laughs> and then I worried that that would be in range, but it's not, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use a lockpick on the door, and Siegfried can go talk to Anakin, who is still sleeping. Are you awake? Huh? Oh, are you in charge of this army? Yes, and who might you be? I am Anakin, just your typical vagrant. A uh, beggar? Why has someone like you been put into prison? I really don't know. One day I cruised into town and started telling tales of the numerous rebellions scattered throughout the land. I was trying to give the oppressed people hope. Then Magnus came all of a sudden and just locked me up. Oh, well, that's understandable for Magnus. They probably saw you as a threat to their own control of Valencia. So, your skills with words are used for more than just begging, huh? Meh, not really, and I'm tired. A tired guy is no threat to an empire like Magnus. Well anyway, can you fight? If not, it might be better if you just stay here until the battle is done. Who said I can't fight? I can use light magic, though I never got that far into my studies. I just barely remember how to use a lightning tome, I think. Well, it's your lucky day. I only have one, though. Yeah, now I have to fight. How is that lucky? Well, I suppose I'll see what I can do. Oh, no, we don't... <laughs> don't need vulnerabilities, dude. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna... It doesn't really matter where I put you. Let's check out... Actually, let's turn on his animations first. Although, I don't really want animations on for dancing all the time, even though he can also fight. But maybe I'll just use you as a, exclusively a dancer. <laughs> oh, is, it's really just the same animation as fighting. Interesting. Also, Anakin looks a lot like Lucius. Lucius, however you say his name. Hello, Ace. Hey. Sir Siegfried, thank you for freeing us. You can flee this place now. You are also free to join us if you desire. I've had a lot of time to think in this prison. I decided that I will fight alongside you. It's the least I can do to repay you. Alright, although you don't have any equipment. I was completely disarmed when I was taken prisoner, so... No, it's alright. I've prepared for this. Or I'm prepared for this. I knew that some of you would want to fight but be unarmed. So I brought a few spare weapons with me. Are you feeling healthy enough to get into the fray, though? Oh, I'm fine, and this'll do. This is pretty considerate of you. You have my thanks. Um, Siegfried, the rest of us actually needed those. So I will go ahead and say, my guide... Let me pull it up really quick. Um, it says... Don't use any of the new people in combat, because none of their items or stats will be carried over. Past chapter 10, when, like, the shift happens, I guess. So... Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about using them. They'll just be uh, convoy spots, really, I think is what they're going to be useful for. In fact, do you guys have any uh, things you aren't supposed to be carrying? You've got a slim lance and then, I mean, the door keys is kind of whatever. Hello, sir. Let me take all this crap off of you. And hope uh, Siegfried will be fine here.
All right, if you could start making some progress, Anana, that would be great. Thank you very much. Should I really just go overkill and use the speed wing on her when I get it? <laughs> Alright, so... Still bunched up. You guys aren't dropping anything, which is cool with me. Uh, I need to heal Shuda for sure, so I guess... She's gonna keep falling back. Hopefully they will continue to pursue. I could have been using the Horse Slayer this whole time. I'm an idiot. Oh, why am I cursed with such stupidity? <laughs> okay, let's see how the Horse Slayer goes for her. And then I'll go ahead and heal shoot up. Also, yeah, I we saw him once. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn Anakin's animations off because I'm probably just gonna be using him to dance. So, or, you know, motivate. So I don't really need those on. Let's let Arthur do some, oh, the flex. Well, actually I did need that for a kill. He's learning. Arthur's really becoming a member of the team now. <laughs> Anakin can't reach Tamiko, so that's unfortunate. I could dump off more inventory on him, but I don't really know who has extra crap. I mean, there are just vulnerabilities and elixirs I could take off people. I hope when I talk to this guy, Siegfried gives him some swords, so I could give those to uh, Shuda, because Shuda's kind of running low there. Also, although I want all fairs to, you know, open doors for me and whatnot, and also he's going to have to go for the chests as well, I want him to steal from this thief, because I don't know if I'll need more lockpicks or not. I probably won't before the... Yeah, actually, forget what I just said. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so I can bait this... Oh, he has a Killer Lance? Maybe I don't want to bait him. This guy just has a normal Iron Lance. Go ahead and bait him with Siegfried. What's Siegfried's health at? He's fine. I guess I'll just... No, I don't want to let the Javelin... Well, he's pretty low on a lot of things. I guess we'll break the Javelin. I mean, it's not going to break yet, but we're getting there. Let's motivate Sia. Yeah. Oh, I, I spoke over what that said, so I don't really know what that noise was. <laughs> it sounded a little strange, not gonna lie. As always, I don't really know what I'm doing fully. Alright. The Horse Slayer. She doesn't have a high accurate chance, but she did it! A high accurate chance? I know how to speak. Okay, so we got the sword, which is actually great for Shuda. I'm fine with that. There goes one of the prisoners. Oh, and there goes the other, just like that. What a bummer. All right, so Shuda, I guess just grab this iron sword. Inanna. Can kill if she hits the 66, but we'll see if that really happens. I'm not super optimistic, but she did it anyway. I'm sorry I doubted you, Inanna. You think I would know better by now. And now the ultimate question, do I give her the speed wing? She's already got a decent speed. She just hasn't been doubling those speedy dudes. I'm also going to go ahead and heal her. Honestly, I feel like anybody would benefit from a speed wing, so I don't really know who to give it to. Also, this guy can kind of go after whoever he wants. Steel Lance, a little scary. What about the thunder? Dang, still not a kill. <laughs> still not. Okay, I'm gonna be lame and just kind of 
wall up. Okay, I'm also gonna listen closely to this. Oh! That's kinda cool. Uh, if I move Arthur, or sorry, this is Ace. Uh, this is gonna be a long one just because I'm playing like an idiot, basically. Is the javelin broken yet? It's going down, I'm yelling timber. That doesn't make sense. Okay, well, since all theirs happens to be over here, I guess I will go ahead and, uh, get that, uh, lockpick. Assuming he can, maybe he won't be able to. Don't give up yet. I like the yet. Like, it's okay if you give up, but not yet. Don't do it yet. Maybe in a little bit. Yeah, now he's on a freaking pillar, which is annoying. Hopefully Sia could still hit him. Nope. Awesome. Okay, she got one at least. Can you handle this guy? Yes. Cool, we'll do that. Oh wait, her inventory's full, isn't it? No, I got rid of the sword. So it should be okay, I think. We'll see. Got a chest key, and we're good. Okay. This dude is also dropping something. Arthur can take that, though. Well, if he hits. Nice. Another level for Arthur. I like to see it. Yeah, we got the elixir. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Why don't I just... Give one of your lances to him. Then I'll hold on to the Axe Reaver for now. Because <laughs> I still want to keep your inventory open for at least one slot. Tamiko, go ahead and heal. We're close to breaking that heal staff, which I'm A-OK -okay with. I'm still moving like way too slow through this, if you ask me, and probably all of you. Oh, so the door people just straight up don't move. It's one thing I don't like about FE7, is they don't accurately, you know, reflect this movement stuff. And this guy hasn't moved at all, which is kind of weird, too. I wonder if you can kill this person for me. Oh yeah, the Nothung. I'm just gonna use that, I don't care. Maybe it's actually just a dig at Siegfried. Maybe it's not hung. <laughs> that was really stupid. Oh, he has a javelin. Boo. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I'll still do it. Nice, she dodged. We're gonna get another kill for Sia, just like that. Although, I might actually... Go ahead and motivate her. Don't give up yet. Like I said, you can give up at some point, but not yet. Okay, hopefully she doesn't miss an 87 at all. Nice work there. Sia needs some more HP. I think I already said this, but the Angelic Robe might not have been bad for her either, but I can't take my actions back. Okay, now I feel like I'm making progress, finally. 
Oh shoot, I didn't know he dropped something. Well, that's still fine. You know what, in fact... Let's let you take the steel sword. Let's try to break the iron sword, because then we'll have another inventory spot. Does anyone need healing around here? Uh, what's-his-face does because he leveled up. I thought the healing experience dropped off at some point. I guess that's not the case. Oh, wait, I need to figure out who I'm giving the speed wing to. Well, not you, obviously. I mean, you got a speed of 14 and you're a thief, so you'll probably max out. Could give it to Arthur. Shuda's already pretty dang good. Sia's definitely good. I'm not gonna give it to Siegfried. And then Inanna, like, her speed's decent at level 9. I don't want to give it to anyone who, like, will cap out without it, you know? But I also don't know if I want to hold on to it too long. No one else moved? That's weird. Why are you not moving? Uh, what's Sia's resistance like? Six? That's not good. And then she'd also be hit by this guy, I think, so maybe I won't do that. And this guy has a killer lance, and I don't know if he's gonna move or not, because... I just don't really know what these people are gonna do. Oh, do I really have to use the thunder? Yeah. I'm gonna risk Sia here. I don't like doing that. Because once again, I don't really know what the AI is gonna do. Are the door people really stuck at the doors? Or what? Yeah, see, she got even more speed. And obviously the magic. She's gonna be a glass cannon, I believe. Alright, I can't even motivate her, which kind of sucks. I also kind of doubt that... Arthur will be able to kill him. But I will try. No, but he does a decent amount of damage, and then... Siegfried could probably do the rest. Yeah. I just want to get rid of the Killer Lands, it's too scary. You're too scary to be left alive. Don't miss a 97. Thank you. I don't know if I have full inventory with you. Oh wait, he only had the killer lance, so it doesn't matter. Is this guy gonna drop anything? No. I really hate this whole inventory management thing I gotta worry about, you know? But so far, it doesn't look like anybody else is going to drop anything. Even the boss, so I guess I don't have to worry about it so much anymore. Uh, let me double check. I don't want to get in the mage range. I almost did. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm full of it. Don't listen to me. What's Tamiko's resistance like? 11? Alright. I know there's nobody in that room, but this does give her experience, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot of experience, so... <laughs> and increased her weapon level, so yeah, I wanted to do that. Just for the sake of free experience. What is your resistance at? Eight? That's actually not horrible. They're probably gonna go after you because you can't counterattack, but that's fine. Oh, or not. Well, I said it before, I don't understand the AI. Are you gonna double? You sure are. Wow. Alright, well thank you AI for making that nice for me. Appreciate it. I know someone has door keys, but I'm just gonna use your unlock again because it's good experience. Don't give up yet. Just like that, another level. <laughs> Alright, awesome, I guess. I would still like more magic since that affects your heals, but whatever. Hello, Eduardo. Ah, you're Sir Siegfried. I am. Who are you? I am Eduardo, a captured Regalian knight. I have long awaited the day I could fight alongside you to help free my homeland. Always good to have someone so... enthusiastic. Alright then. For Regalia! Wait! Huh? You're completely unarmed. 
the enemy would just catch you and lock you back up. Or even worse, kill you. None can withstand the might of a Valencian knight. Armed or unarmed, my charge will bring defeat to the enemy. You idiot. Take this sword and spear, and you better use them. Y yes sir! For Valencia! <sighs> dude, it'd be cool if like... I mean, they already have the motivational dude in here. It'd be cool if like I had some cavalry guy that just went around punching people. <laughs> or just like somehow attacking with his horse or something. Alright, so now we got an Iron Sword and Iron Lance, which is cool with me. Uh, let's see here. How do I want to move forward now? Well, does anyone else need to dump inventory on anyone? Like, Arthur, go ahead and give him... these. Because why not? And Sia has an elixir she could drop off. Other than that, I think we're... Oh, well, chest keys. Don't really need those. And then... Uh, I'm just... I feel like if I give her the speed wing and then she ends up getting more speed levels, I'm really gonna regret it. So I think we're just gonna continue to hold on to it. Because I can give it to someone in, like, the prep screen stuff, so... It should be fine. Anyway, I need to, like, keep moving. I don't really want to use... I wish I had another Lance Reaver. Why does everybody have to have Lances? Maybe I just shouldn't have brought Shuda. <laughs> I trust in Shuda's ability to not die. Hopefully that's not misplaced. Well, he dodged a 73, so it was not misplaced at all. Excuse me. Alright, next step. I don't know yet. This guy has a javelin, I'm pretty sure, so... Arthur's defense sucks, but I could just have him bait Javelin Boy out. I mean, Tamiko's here to heal him. Speaking of, does anyone else need healing? Hello? Guess not. Should I just let Shuda kill? Nah, Sia's right here. She's coming together very nicely. Again, she's very much a glass cannon, and if she gets hit, like, once, she's gonna die, but... She's still coming together pretty nicely. Alright, I guess I'll use Siegfried to bait now. And then... Even though I put Arthur there, I think I'm gonna have Inanna try to maybe go after this dude with a javelin. What in the world is her resistance? Not super great. Dude has a javelin, like I said. Uh, you know what? It's fine. I believe in Inanna now. Besides, they both can't attack her unless one does close range, so there's that. Bring her this way, and then... I mean, it's just weird to have units I'm not really gonna use. I don't really know which way to even send you. I want him to get experience too, but I don't think that's happening. Oh uh, yeah, let's just end it. Oh, baby! Get back over here and let me kill you. Wow, Anana's just dodging everything now. Hey, okay with that too. Alright, so how do you do against a mage? Not well. Arthur could probably do okay. Yeah, he's got a good resistance, but he's not close enough. And also he'd be at disadvantage against Anima. So, that would not work out for me. Oh, this sucks. And you can't reach, although I could motivate you. <laughs> I can give you a little, uh, motivation. I'm doing an attack just because he can. And he leveled up from it, so there's that. Level 6 now? Yeah. 
And basically, the best I could hope for was Siegfried, I think. Don't give up yet. Yeah. Listen, Anakin, don't give up. Yeah, I just want to get rid of this guy. Mages are kind of a pain. Usually your Pegasus Knights are good for dealing with mages, but her defense is better than her resistance, so... You know, it's just clearly not the case all the time. That's what I do love about Fire Emblem, though. I forgot to kind of talk about that, but, like... Just... How there's so much replayability in, like, the sense that... You know, obviously there's an average that a lot of units will fall into, but... Like, Maya Nana, as a lot of the comments were saying, is, like... So stacked in defense, which is just not typical at all. And, like, someone had her promoted to, like, a Falco Knight or whatever's next, and her, their defense still wasn't as high as mine. It's just... something that's really awesome, in my opinion. And also, as you can see, when I... I hadn't realized that about Inanna at the time, and, you know, couldn't stand her. And then once the comments pointed out how awesome she's doing, now she's like one of my favorites. For now. We'll see if that changes. I certainly don't want it to change. But again, we'll see. Okay, I already did a motivation, so... Yeah, let's just uh, keep moving people forward. I don't think she can heal anyone. She could have healed Siegfried, actually, but now she can't reach. Plus, she has a door to unlock, which I don't know if she'll reach next turn. I guess we'll find out. Then you two aren't doing anything. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't know he had range. That hurts. Glass cannon Sia, like I said. Okay, so the armored boys are still just not moving at all. Which is fine with me. No, oh, even with that, you're not gonna... Hmm. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and get Sia a lot of experience. We're gonna break the Fire Tome, which is also great. A fire broke. Oh no. Don't give up yet. Don't freaking give up, Sia. Alright, Anakin's first level, which apparently doesn't matter. Which is a shame, because it was a pretty good level, I think. <laughs> okay, she can't kill unless she uses Thunder. I guess we'll try it. The worst that can happen is she misses. But she didn't. And that might be enough to level, we'll see. Yeah! Dang, no magic or speed this time, but hey, she got the skill, which is cool with me. Alright, so how am I taking care of Mr. Armor Boy right here? You have an Axe Reaver, don't you? No, I gave it up. It doesn't matter, he doesn't have an Axe. What am I thinking? Does he have a... He just has the Steel Lance. So I could just throw Javelins at him. Which does four damage at most. If she gets hit by this, she won't die. Like, even in the enemy phase, I mean, so... We'll go ahead and do it. All right, a level for Inanna. What will it be? <laughs> All right. That's a, just more reason to not give her the speed wing, though. Break the heal staff. Yes! What's a Fire Emblem game doing to me when I'm actually, like, happy about breaking items? When normally I'm trying to avoid it, like, pretty hardcore. And then you have the Armor Slayer, but... Oh. Oh. Do I really want to risk you missing, though? And then just sitting there? Let's maybe hopefully... Maybe hopefully... Soften him up with you. And hope you don't get a 2% crit, as weird as that is, to hope for. Ouch. Alright, cool, no crit. <laughs> you have two chances at 66 to kill, or... Okay, you can't do any damage with that. So hopefully you can hit one of these. That's all you need to do. Alright, bad start. Bad start. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> you don't have a javelin, do you? You do? Uh... <sighs> Here's what we'll do. Shuda, can you kill him? Most likely. Alright, a level for Shuda. You know, it worked out in the end. Just kidding. Bad level, Shuda. You should be ashamed. Alright, so even though you have some healing you could absolutely be doing, and probably should be doing, I'm gonna get you the unlock experience instead. Because it's like 50 experience or something. It's nuts. Wow, look at her go. She's gonna be awesome when she promotes. So, someone has chest- oh, Inanna. Once again, my- t wait, but her inventory's full! Oh, no, it's not. Wow, I almost- wow, I feel really dumb. Now her inventory's full. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and move Shuda. Yeah, I think here's fine. Go ahead and drop my thief that nearly died or whatever. Do you have inventory space? You sure do. Don't give up yet. Ooh, the emblem blade. A sword of will. Should I keep it on all theirs? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, anyway, I guess it's time to start moving forward once again. I will go ahead and let Siegfried bait the dude. And we'll see what happens. Oh, you're probably gonna kill him. I also didn't realize you were that low health. Well, dang, if I knew you were gonna kill him, I wouldn't have used you! For shame, Siegfried. Alright, Tamiko has, like, a lot of healing to do. <laughs> you know what, I'll use Arthur next. He's an advantage. It'll be great. Can motivate for even more healing. Don't give up yet. Never give up! Also, go ahead and heal all theirs next, because I'm curious to have him, like, use the Emblem Blade. Assuming Arthur doesn't kill the mage. We'll see what happens. My signature catchphrase, apparently. And then you just get out of the way, and then Inanna... I guess you can trade her the thunder. Here you go! Alright, unless you crit, this will not be a kill. Didn't dodge 54. For shame, Arthur. No crit. I would normally say for shame, but I'm okay with this. Can all there is even reach, though? Yeah, alright, cool. Let's do it. All right, give me some good news, please. Yes. More strength. And now, Arthur can't reach. <laughs> Boss shouldn't move. That's never a thing they do. So how does this look? Uh, fair enough. Tee hee hee. You'll be sucked into oblivion by my magic. Oh, I like her color scheme too. Really just like black with most things. <laughs> so black and blue and all there is black and orange. I dig it a lot. I'm easy to please with colors, I guess. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up Shuda. 
Actually, I probably won't be using Sia against the boss, because she'll be at disadvantage, so... Yeah, I'll do Shuda. I don't really want to use Siegfried unless I, like, have to. I'd be okay with using Inanna, but I don't know if she'll do very well. And then you two will just continue to not do anything. And Sia's not going to do anything yet, at least. Nice. Needed that. Yeah, they kind of have, like, a free choice of who I want to kill. Or who I want to have kill. That's a 1% chance of death. I don't know if I want to do that. Anyway, I'll start with Arthur, because even if he crits, I don't think it... Yeah, it wouldn't kill, so let's go ahead and weaken her a little bit. I'm a little scared to try out theirs just because if he misses and then gets like that 1% crit against him, it's uh, not good. Who did I want to heal up? Well, maybe Arthur, but it's kind of too late for that now. She can't reach. So we'll just heal Sia to get more experience. Because I'm probably going to get Tamiko to 20 pretty quick. Let's see. It's like, how do your attacks look? Uh, yeah, I'm okay with this. Nice, she hit. Ouch. Alright, Altheris, it's up to you. Not really, there's a lot of people who could attack too, but... I'm gonna say it's up to you. No, I just want the Emblem Blade, please. Please don't miss and don't get a 1% crit, or I'm gonna be very upset. Alright, he got it. Ah, uh, no. Am I... dying? Rana. Another level for all fairs. Can we get some good news again? I mean, if you're getting what you need as a thief, so sure. I would like more strength, but... it's fine. I don't know if I can get her any more experience, because I don't think she's close enough to heal anybody else. Oh, well, you can heal Anakin, yeah. Hey, here's another level then, right? Ooh. Not bad at all. Alright, Siegfried, we are done. Alright, everyone. We've secured the area. Huh? Must you shout so loud? I was in the middle of a nice nap. Napping on the battlefield. How do you fight like that? Well, I'm not really a fighter. I'm more of a motivator. A motivator? Uh, yeah. I'm not that great at fighting myself, so I motivate others to fight harder to pick up the slack. It seems to me it would be more worthwhile to hone your own skills than to rely on the skills of others. At the very least, you seem to have some fighting potential. Well, we've all got our ways of doing things. You've got your sword, and I've got my voice. I suppose, but you have to be awake to speak. Our enemy is Magnus, a relentless and fearless foe. They won't hesitate to kill anyone, even, if, even a defenseless sleeping soldier. Perhaps fighting when you can, and motivating when you can't, would be the best way to strengthen yourself. Perhaps. I'll keep that in mind, I suppose. Father, we released all the prisoners on the ground level. The documents in the warden's office indicate many more prisoners. However, it doesn't say where they are. Well, while I was in prison, I heard rumors of an underground detainment center. I think they held some of the captured Yulian knights... uh, down there. Most of them sided with Pelinor, but a few of them didn't. I saw a path leading to a cellar. The enemy commander had this key with her, so I'm assuming that... They're in that cellar! Come, father! Meow. Wait, aren't we following Kellek then? Ah, the light! It burns! Hey, you! Are you alright? I totally didn't click for that to skip. Yeah, thanks a lot. I was terrified when I heard the sound of battle. I thought maybe someone had come, but I... I was afraid the soldiers here were too much for you. Thanks for the optimism. We're going to stay around for a day and leave tomorrow. You or anybody else who wants to join, you have one day. Our goal is to free Valencia from the clutches of Magnus. So if you were a true knight of Valencia, be true to your oaths and join us. Okay, you don't need to, like, really strong arm him. Oh, great. So it's you. Nice battle there. So we meet again. What are you doing here? 
Just minding my own business. So, you still considering joining our forces? You hate Magnians, don't you? No, I'm not going to throw my life away so quickly. I have to take care of some things. Later, Sieg. He has a cool theme. Oh, and don't get too far ahead of yourself. Charging straight into places isn't going to work every time. What's his problem? I'm not sure. He sure is full of himself. Father, your eye is twitching. Is something wrong? It's nothing, Sean. I'm just gonna kill that little edgelord! A sky of dust? Please don't tell me it's gonna be fog of war then. I mean, I still have a torch. I guess. Ah! <sighs> Sir Siegfried, here we are. This fortress was built to guard Yulia from Magnus. Now it's just here to slow us down. This isn't good. I doubt we can just bypass here. But attacking is going to cost us valuable time and soldiers. Anakin, this is the final line of defense for Yulia, correct? Well, you took a very unique route to get here. Coming from the north and then traveling west around Yulia, you managed to avoid the heart of Valencia, really, so yeah. After you take this, it should be an easy path back north to Yulia. So if we seized this fortress, we could use it as a staging area for the attack on Yulia. That is correct. And if the initial strike on the castle fails, we would be able to retreat here and fortify our position. Now, I think the best plan to take this fort is... You're not going to be attacking head-on, are you? Yeah, that's our plan. It hasn't failed us yet. Anakin, I want you to take Ace and Eduardo and go to Regalia. Regalia, whatever. It's the most isolated city, and thus the farthest from Magnus, so I don't get them anymore. Oh god, what items did I give them? I think I might have given them the speed wing. Oh no. <laughs> In other words, Magni and Occupational Forces should be much weaker. There, I want you to recruit new fighters to our cause. Despite your appearances, you speak with dignity, and I can see a lot of potential in you, both in mind and body. I know that you can be successful if you put yourself to it. Father, is this really the smartest thing to do? If we lose soldiers we just gained, we'll be much worse off for this fight. He does have a point. It would be better to wait until after the gate is taken. Yes, please, please. No, we can't do that. You have to already be out of here by the time we take the gate. Currently, the Magnians in this region only view us as a minor nuisance. Taking this gate will likely get Magnus off its feet and on our tail. You must make way to Regalia before that happens, my friend. Once we conquer the gate, the Magnian army will crack down on the civilians, and they will get rid of any potential opposition. Once they see us as a threat, they'll take much stronger measures. If that happens, you will never make it through without being imprisoned. <sighs> Alright. I'll take Ace, Eduardo, and some others with me to Regalia. We'll evade the Magnians and get people to join our cause. It'll be my own little mission. That sound okay, Sir Siegfried? Yes, I'm trusting you with this and know you can handle it. And I believe a man of your speaking talent is ideal to put at the lead of a recruitment operation. <laughs> Alright then, I'll be off. Best of luck to you. Likewise, Anakin. Oh, that sucks! Like, the guide did say that don't use them in combat because, like, their items and stats won't carry over to chapter 10. But it didn't tell me that I wouldn't... That I would, like, just straight up lose their items. Like, they wouldn't be... <sighs> I lost the speed wing. That's actually really irritating. Uh, but, you know, live and learn. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. I really just should have used it on Inanna. Because that would have been better than, you know, not using it at all. Because now it's gone forever, and plus, whatever else I traded them is also just gone. And I don't even know what that was. So that just really sucks. Uh, but again, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not going to, you know, restart or whatever. We're just moving on to Chapter 9, and uh, hopefully something like that doesn't happen again. But anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you enjoyed the episode, so consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the Small Crit Club, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Thank you.